my channel hey everybody what's up Can you stop moving what's up everybody what's up everybody <laughs> hey everybody welcome back to my channel I feel like that's how you have to intro all these you guys sent in some really good questions so we are gonna do our best to answer the ones you guys have asked get after it A ton of questions about how we met you want to tell it you want me to tell it you you, I'll tell you, it. you round it off and then I'll, I'll chime in on what okay you, what you're right so, so we met in August of 2017 at MLS all-star weekend that was being hosted in Chicago at the time Matt played for the Chicago fire Spencer my brother's favorite team is Real Madrid so we decided why not go? One of our mutual friends is the one who introduced us, Max Amster. He saw that I was in town. He said, hey, one of my best friends, Matthew, is uh, signing some autographs pre-game. Why don't you guys come over, hang out? Is this right so far? This is from my perspective. Uh, my perspective, I wasn't gonna go if it wasn't like worth it. So obviously I scrolled through your Instagram to make sure it was worth it. And? and then it was worth it. Oh, uh, that's nice. What did you think of me first time you saw me? It's, it the mean, head. kind of sums it up the way I Got nervous. Okay, so let's finish the story. Okay. So we met and Matt said Hi. And bye. No, two words. Yeah. That's it. That's the only thing he said to me. Hi and bye the entire time. So I didn't think anything of it. Chicago. About a week later, I receive a package to my West Hollywood house. Shout out to Brooke and Max who yes. helped me get that done. He sent me his jersey. Not like Matt at all. No. Why did you end up doing that? Well, because I made a bad first impression. I need to make sure I had a good <laughs> So he sent his jersey and a really thoughtful note. I gave her like my username and uh, password for the MLS. Well, after that, we talked for a couple months because I didn't see you for at least two to three months after that until November, until season was over. Uh, that was about right. And then, two months and then you came to Vegas. And then he flew me to Vegas. And, uh, the rest is history from there, actually. Did we live together? We did. We lived in Chicago. We lived together pretty quickly after, actually. I was doing a lot of traveling back and forth from Los Angeles to Chicago to see Matt, and it just got to the point it was just be too, it was just too much travel. It just didn't make sense for her not to stay with me. You brought it up, and then weirdly enough, my sister and my mom brought it up to me. Are you gonna move in with this guy? I just thought that was kind of pretty quick to move into someone, but again, like we're big proponents of like there should be no rules. You should just do go things. with the flow. If yeah, may, if it feels right, then just yeah. Do it. Who said I love you first? Not even. Yeah, definitely me. <laughs> like, you're like just say it or something. What to say? Because I was like, well, I'm all right. You want me to just say it? You had a weird look on your face, like you wanted to say something. I wasn't sure if I should say it yet, but I wanted to say it, and I and I don't think you thought that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> no. So proceed to say I love you, and then you like, I adore you. <laughs> Love you not too long after. It was a good month. It was not a month. Easily. It was a couple weeks. It probably felt like a month. Favorite memory from your wedding? I have multiple favorite memories. It was such a good weekend. Yeah. Highlight was one, Matt cried. Walking down the aisle, that was the one thing. I wanted that moment for him to be like, oh my God, <laughs> that is my wife. Yeah. And you did. That was another we, highlight. We killed our vows, but it was, it was nerve wracking because yeah. obviously it's a, an emotional night. The other perk was having our wedding at a one-stop shop at Palms Casino in Las Vegas. Everybody stayed there. Friday night rehearsal dinner there. We had obviously our wedding, we had the after party, and then we had Sunday brunch. Palms, the Palms Casino killed it for us. They actually set it they up did. really nicely and just nice that everyone was in the same spot it because was, you would go down and you would gamble and, and you would find 10, 10 other friends and you would just all join yeah. in and gamble together. By the time the wedding came around, everyone felt like they knew each other already. It made that night even better for the dancing. I totally agree. The vibe was just, yeah. Hopefully the video is coming soon, so we'll have I that for so. you guys. Switching gears, do you like living in Scotland? We love it. 100%. Best thing about Glasgow? The people. The people. 50% of the people. <laughs> Actually, yeah. yeah. Everybody's been kind, everybody's yeah. been nice. Favorite restaurant in Glasgow? I'd say we have a few. Which is Dakota. When we came over to Scotland, we stayed in the Dakota. Very, very nice hotel. Which their food was unbelievable. 30 days, we probably ate there 20. It felt like Easily. every night. They have our favorite bread, which is like crispy on the outside and like soft and doughy well, on the inside. Their sauce with goji. Yeah. In the oh, fire. So good. Recommend if you go. Yeah. We still probably go, I would say, once a week. Big fans of Cafe yeah. Zeke, Urban West. For pizza, Paisanos. How do you guys find understanding the Glasgow accent? I'd say in the beginning it was tough. Had an I was easier time though, because you were around the guys. So yeah. When people are speaking fast and you guys cut the words in half. A lot of slang. So, but we're getting better at it. I know Andy, 
when we play Call of Duty together, I don't miss anything, that's for sure. So. Jilly's accent is pretty thick and I do a pretty good job. Who would you say like has given you the hardest time trying to understand? Grigsy by far. Grigsy, yeah. the hardest? By far. How did the move to Glasgow impact you and Matt? It was a huge life change. Yeah, it was different in that aspect. Like obviously we were trying to call our parents when it was midnight our time because they're waking up. That yeah. was probably the toughest bit. But for the most part, I mean, we were okay with the transition because we had each other. It would have been very difficult if it was just me. It would have been fine, but it has made it easier. Nice to have somebody to talk to. It makes it easier to have me? Yeah, it does. Nice. Yep. Ugh, I, I have that. lipstick on. It's actually lip gloss. Yeah, same difference. Whatever. Why did Matt choose to join Rangers? Wanted to play in Europe in some capacity. Wanted to play footy or become a professional at some point, but the goal was to always take it over there. And then having that opportunity to play for Rangers makes it even more special. What is Matt's most memorable moment with Rangers so far? I'd say signing day was one of them, but there's two because it's always <laughs> Signing day for anybody I think is uh, yeah. an important moment. But I, agree. I would say obviously making my first appearance for Rangers was special. I know it was short because it was just a heart, but whenever it was chanting USA, it was pretty pretty special. And that I, was I, a good I, one. I really enjoyed that, yeah. Are Rangers fans the best fans you've ever seen or heard? Yeah, I think kind of because I said it before. You just the support that you get wherever you go is just spectacular. Not, nothing, yeah, nothing you nothing. get really anywhere else. Right? You wouldn't get that in the states. The support on and off the pitch, like the reason I think to the earlier question that our transition has been so incredible and so loving and warm, and yeah. we love it there so much, right. is because of the fans and because of you guys and because of the people who have made it really feel like our home away from home. Thank you for that, you guys. Anyone who has kind of made our transition yeah. easier. It's Thank, been, you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. What's your favorite Rangers song? I, say, I think Follow Follow is probably my favorite. Follow Follow is mine too. No. USA, because that's when you call yeah. it. I think there are clever songs. <laughs> I think Kenty's is pretty good. For the boys? I think yeah. Scotty's is also very good. Yeah. And Andy, so I mean, you guys come up with some clever ones. He is songs. always walking around the house. You have, Saturday. yeah. I like the way you move, Scotty. I feel. <laughs> He's always walking around the house singing different ones. What is Ibrox like on match day from both of your perspectives? The Ibrox is just special in general. So yeah. like walking in, going to the changing room, preparing for a match, knowing that fifty thousand people will be there is just yeah. is a. An amazing feeling, an exciting feeling, and also like a little bit of pressure, obviously, because the expectation of the club is to win every single match and get three points week in, week out. So it's all those things, um, but it's in one word, it's just special. Having someone who is, you know, my spouse stepping onto the pitch, just that extra like mm -hmm. chill that you get. If I don't go with you to the match, I'll either take an Uber or I'll take public transit. And my favorite part is listening to the stories that people have, what it really means to be like a Rangers fan. Yeah, it's no. pretty insane. Did Carol Baskin do it? Yes. yes. Absolutely. 100%. We'll end on that note. Thank you guys Thank so you much for, for sending questions. in all of your questions. We'll have to do this again. Thank you guys. We hope that you are staying safe in quarantine. We'll see you soon.